you see a lot of other goalies, you know, the puck goes in, they're looking at their D-man and throwing their hands up type thing. And, you know, me, I'd want to turn around and slap <laughs> the <laughs> but, uh, I wouldn't do that, but... Uh... We all grew up watching Stanley Cup playoffs, all of us at this table, for a lot of you NHL fans that are out there that are gonna tune in to watch this. There's nothing like the Stanley Cup playoffs in all sports. We're all big sports fans, but there's nothing like that. Let's talk about the battle mentality that it takes in the Stanley Cup playoffs. What is it that raises that battle level, which is already high for hockey players, through the roof? I think, you know, once the, the puck drops in, in playoffs, it's a totally different game. Mm. I think, like you said, the battle, the battles go up, the, it feels like the ice surface gets smaller, you know, the boards start creeping in on you a little bit more and there's less room and, uh, you know, that's, it, it, it's human nature just to, to want to outwork the guy that you're staring, staring across the ice at and, uh, you know, that's, that's how guys win. Yeah, you know what, I, I hadn't played in playoffs in a long time and then last year we, we uh, played these guys in the first round mm -hmm. and uh, it was pretty cool for me to see to get that feeling back, that to remember what how much it gets dialed up that first game and those first five minutes, it's uh, you know every minute of every every shift uh, counts so much and um, yeah, it's just it's it's a different atmosphere, but it's a totally different game. Everything's so much more amplified and intense. Yeah, I think like you said, the switch kind of flips uh, in the playoffs and it gets amped up a little higher and then you notice the things that guys are pushing through like bo broken feet and broken hands and fingers and whatever it may be. So um, yeah, it just goes to show uh, the, and you don't really know how many chances you're ever gonna get at it. So when you get uh, a chance and your team's in the playoffs, you're doing everything you can to, to be out there. Toughens you up right, pretty quickly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I think that's why in, in playoffs, a lot of the time you see the guys who have the biggest impact are the grittier guys and the third liners or the fourth liners who, who have to, because they sort of cancel each other out the top lines, right? right. And, and they're the guys who are getting shut down, playing against the best pairs on, the, on D and, and all that stuff. But it's a, it's a gritty, gritty game in playoffs. Does it sting when you see another team win that cup? And does that motivate you more? Does that give you a little bit more, a little more jam in the gym? Yeah, especially when it's a team in your division or guys who you play against all the time and you yeah. see them having success and, and going far right, it's uh, for sure, it motivates you. And, and uh, like I said, as you get older, I think we're all veteran guys. And as you start getting older and realizing how, how quick your career can go by, mm. um, you want to get as many cracks as you can at it. When I'm watching, I obviously don't want anyone else to win. Like I can't stand watching, uh, you know, teams I play against a lot, you know, win the cup. Like I was down with Pittsburgh winning it again, just so no one knew was winning it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it sucks, um, you know, you just want that thing so bad. And it sounds kind of funny, but like, that's all you really think about all season is just, you know, trying to get back to that spot and try to win that Stanley Cup. Because after you win that thing, man, those next three months are just the best time of life. Mm. <laughs> like, unbelievable, so. Yeah, you want to get back there, and I don't like seeing other guys win it, really. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the toughest team you guys would say that you played against this season? For me, I thought Boston was, was really good this year. I thought uh, both times we played them, they rolled four lines. They were all big, uh, skilled guys, and, and uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's tough to say because we only played them twice, but I thought I really was uh, surprised at uh, them going out in the second round there. Um, but I think it had a lot of it had to do them them going seven games against the Leafs in the first round. It took a lot of them. So they were, they were a tough team. They were a tough team to play against. Yeah, for sure. They were, uh, that was always a tough game for us this year. But I think uh, when we played Winnipeg towards the very end of the year, I thought that was uh, the toughest game that we had. I think uh, just all the depth that they have. Uh, and that was, for us, I thought the, the team that gave us uh, the most trouble in a, in a game. This year, I actually, like I, I thought Jersey, like they're just relentless. And every time you went back for the puck, there was somebody on me. I'm like, get away from <laughs> get me. Stop. Yeah. Teams match up against you. They're like, oh, we got to get our hits in on Dowdy, boys. We got to make sure we finish them. We got to get in there and make them pay. Yeah. Got to make them pay. Who's, who's that team? It's, or maybe uh, a player. Even. I was going to say Winnipeg, too. That's really? What I had in my mind the whole time. Them are Nashville. Nashville always plays us really well. But Winnipeg, they're just like those top guys, are like their top line guys, right. Shifley and Wheeler. Those guys play the skill game, but they play the like hard game, too. They, mm -hmm. they play hard, and you get hit all the time, and they're big, strong guys. So I would say 
for me, they're the toughest team to get. Like, I felt with the puck, I wasn't able to create anything against that team. I just had wow. no space to make plays, and yeah, they're tough for me. Uh, we, we played Winnipeg right near the end of the season, and mm -hmm. you know, the way in Winnipeg, I think we got, we, won, we lost in overtime, but we were shot 52, like 12. They just come at you in waves, and you know, Nashville's the same way. They just yeah. keep coming at waves, and uh, it, they they play hard, and they're they're fast, they're they're big, they're physical, and they got a lot of skill. And uh, you know, when you you put those all together, you're gonna have a good team. Interesting how none of those teams are in, gonna be in the Cup final this year, but they're all yeah, really yeah. good. They're all really good teams, yeah. and they could very well be there next year. Any one of you guys could very well be there next year.